We are at Pinstripes at Oak Brook, Illinois, and we are so excited. We are about here to celebrate Addison's 14th birthday. We want to show you around, so let's go. In this episode, we're going to show you how to play bocce ball. And while I play my daughter in a friendly game of bocce ball, we're going to share each of the different rules and make sure to stay the end to see who wins this battle. When you get here, you'll see that this place is huge. There are even two floors. Another fun activity we've done here at Pinstripes is to go bowling. And if you go upstairs, there is an event area where you can have conferences and weddings. Welcome back, Chronicles crew. You have Carl here. If you're not familiar with our channel, we're a family travel vlog. We love to go to local spots, tourist attractions, and weird and wacky places. I wonder if there's the world's largest corkscrew. To get started, it's time to pick teams. You can have one to four players on each team. Addison and I are pretty competitive, so I picked my wife, Melissa, to be on my team, and she picked Finley to be on hers. With teenagers, it's like herding cats. Now it's time to get the game started. So, first thing for bocce ball is you have to take this like silver ball. Not sure what it's called, but first person is gonna take it and you're just gonna roll it. So not too hard. Good job, Rosalie. Now it's time to take you through how you score and win the game. Each team gets four of these, which are solid balls. And you're going to try to get it closest to the little silver ball. I get four tries and you get four tries, right? Yep, and basically whoever is the closest uh, gets one point and first to seven wins. Oh, I see your strategy. taking the group picture, a few of Addison's friends snuck over and said they wanted to be part of Santa's Chronicles. Be careful what you wish for. Please like and subscribe and comment down below what you want to see next and hit the little bell so you get notified. <laughs> When you are throwing, make sure to look at your surroundings. If you look below you, there is a yellow line. You can step on it, but you can't go over it. As you can see here, Finley is taking this very seriously. Whoa! I don't know if we're gonna beat these two. Who's the best one out of all your friends, you think? Best one? I don't know. Kalo's doing pretty good, Cal. Athletic. She's a little competitive, isn't she? Just, just, just a bit, just a bit. Just. And I think she ate like three pizzas. Yeah, she ate <laughs> 11, 11 pieces of pizza. <laughs> so. Happy birthday, Addison. Uh, hope you have a good birthday, but not too good. Uh, love you. What most people don't know is you can actually hit the walls and use it for your advantage. And sometimes it's just too close to call. That's why this tape measure is here. Okay, two, two. When rolling your ball, make sure you keep it in play. So Addison, if you hit the back, it doesn't count. I just told you that doesn't count as this. This girl started doing their own kind of games, spinning between the legs. It's pretty funny. <laughs> what is going on over here? And right here is the end of our abbreviated game. <laughs> oh, knock me out. 
So what'd you think? Um, it was super fun and like definitely fun because you had like your own little area and stuff and it was super fun because it was like kind of just like hang out and do your own thing. It's not like a time thing where it's like you have to do this, have to do that. All right, well happy birthday. Yeah. Time to get the girls because it's time for cake. I just can't believe how fast Addison has grown. So as we sing happy birthday to her, I want to show you some videos of Addison as she's grown up right before your eyes here at Santos Chronicles. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Addy. Happy birthday to you. Happy 14th and enjoy many, many more. If you're looking for suburban adventures, check out the Forge and K1 Speed. Click on the link below.